Hello, audience, all, all the Geelong people out there. This is Geelong Let's Talk, and today we're talking to Alison Groot from Yesterday Media. Now, Alison, tell us a little bit about Yesterday Media and how that happened. So, uh, long, long-winded conversation, but um, I'll try and make it as simple as possible. So, uh, I've worked in video production for around twenty years, and during the the sort of COVID craziness that we've gone through, I noticed that a lot of the small businesses, definitely here in in Geelong, were really suffering um, and couldn't afford to do any sort of advertising or video content or even promote their businesses. And I really wanted to be able to not only help those businesses but also uh, be able to uh, provide those services at a lower or a uh, cost effective way so i decided to set up my business um, as a video production company and offer the opportunity for small businesses or small budgets or even those sole traders who really want to be able to build up their social media with making video content or um, even from a graphic design perspective or even um, building videos around what they're they're making so that's that's really how yesterday media sort of came about and obviously being able to give back to my local community and helping those businesses start to thrive again and start to really build some great community um experience but also the wider australian community in general and what do you love about doing the the, that side of things for a small business or any business really (laughs) What do I love? Um, the Probably the biggest thing I love is taking people on a journey. I really love being able to get inside someone's head and find out what they're trying to achieve, understanding where they're coming from, where their branding is, and then being able to tell that story for them. Um, and that's like breaking it down into what are your key messages? How are you trying to get those across? And taking them on a journey. Okay, this is how you would do that. This is what you would do. This is how we would build video content around that. Um, and then bring it to life. So their vision comes to life. Obviously, it's it's collaboration in that regard, but also um, seeing them go on that journey and that experience um, is quite rewarding. Uh, but it also helps um, really generate a, a, a strong strength in in relationships with them, but also with their confidence and their their ability to be able to tell a story that they want to tell through their business. So that's probably the biggest thing I love about what I do. Yeah, and talking about um, telling that story, what sort of transformations have you been witness to with regards to how you've helped the business themselves i i've probably i've seen some major growth with some bigger companies i've worked with but definitely with smaller ones it's, it's really about them understanding where they're coming from um and and really looking at well, what do they want to do like how do they want to grow their business is it about um just getting it out there and and, and creating a strength in their brand or is it about telling a story um and sometimes it is just about the story. It's about they they already have a clear idea of their 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 design and and how they want that to look, but not being able to actually understand how they can tell that message and say that message. Whether it's a product product video, which can be um, something that could be quite simple, but if they want to tell a story around that, um, if they want it to be interactive, if they want it to be something that people are going to engage with in a visual way without them actually having to touch the product. And and obviously we were up against that um, during the last few years because people weren't able to physically go out and buy products. Whereas video content offers um, people the ability to actually see that product being handled and touched and it creates um, a love and an engagement with a product that they may not get. And then from a, from a promotional perspective, it's about telling their brand, their, their story, their their engagement, whether it's them learning how to present on camera, which is, um, you know, something we've talked about a lot, Matthew, about people learning about how to do that, but also about um, them being confident in who they are to be able to present their, their brand or their products or their services in the right way. So I'm kind of... I like to mentor a little bit like that as well, but I also like to be able to, if if people are not confident in doing that, to take what they want and and build that and create that as a bigger storytelling aspect. I really do think that video gives 
a story, that extra dimension that you can't get in words on, on a page sort of thing mm -hmm. um, with regards to promotion. I'm, I'm like you, I'm a very visual person, so I like to, I'd rather watch the video than actually read the, story, read the book sort okay. of thing. Yeah. Um, so you've already, you've already covered a little bit about what's unique about you, but what makes you more unique than other people in your industry, you reckon? Yeah. Look, it is, it's a hard one breaking it down. Obviously, um, video production is, is a talent. It, it's, a, it's a thing we all learn how to do. We all, um, you can't just pick up a camera. You, you actually need to understand how it works and how it visually um, builds. And, and what I would find that's really unique about how I approach things, it's not just about, you know, making money. It, it's a, it's about well you know as always it is a little bit but um, it's also about being able to be part of somebody's experience whether that's the my client's experience or whether it's their client's experience and being being able to tell that story for them and I'm very customer and relationship focused so that's probably where the biggest difference I would offer to someone is that the other side of it would be obviously. Um, because I've set this up, my business up in Geelong, uh, you know, I'm able to offer better pricing than what you would probably get in Melbourne. Um, and I, I think that's a, that's a great opportunity there for people to take advantage of, that, um, that I am offering a service that, you know, normally could cost thousands and thousands of dollars, whereas I'm trying to keep that more cost effective for business owners and, and for people who want to make video content. That's it, what the thing, some of the things you've covered are pretty close to home to me. That's why I do these videos because I want to get to know the people that I talk to and get, get others to know them as well through the, yeah. the power of that video because you're seeing them, seeing their vision, their, their faces, they're talking, they're animated, and it's yeah. a, it, I guess it, it lets us get to know people a little bit better. Good. I can see a real nurturing aspect in there, like you, mm -hmm. you plant the seed and they might be shy in front of the cam camera initially, but you might bring something out of them that they may not even realise was in themselves sort of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, and that happens a lot. It's so yeah. much so. That'd be really rewarding, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. really rewarding. Okay. Um, what are your future plans for the business? So sort of, actually, I could probably lead into it. I do love mentoring. Um, so I, I really would love to be able to get some, some um, you know, video superstars who are starting out in the industry and really give them some, um, some really grounded knowledge around what to expect, what to, to do, learn some really great skills. That's probably one part of where I want to go. And the other one is to expand my team. So um, right now, the way I sort of work is I uh, contract out, depending on the job, uh, a majority of the work I do it myself. Um, and then I would love to actually have a team that uh, works full time with me so that I can, um, you know, really divide up the jobs a little bit differently and obviously work that way. But um, definitely would love to expand that way. So, so ideally, with with regards to building a team, what what aspects would you like to for someone else to take over? Would you you do most of the video yourself? But what other what other aspects do you need help in with regards to outsourcing or um, taking someone else on if that was so, to happen? Yeah, with with everything, and I think um, Lindsay Fox says it best. You know, you bring in people who are subject matter experts. So, yeah. uh, yes, I can do a lot of things, but I am not a motion designer. So um, I would bring in someone with those kind of skills who understand that and they live it, they breathe it. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I bring, I'd have a camera operator who specifically just does that. So there are, yes, I can do a lot, um, but sometimes you just do need those specialists to mm. be able to focus on those areas that are very specific. Um, as you know, with graphic design, it's a very different flat world compared to motion design. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. a, there's two different types of mindsets. One's a yeah. very um, linear, flat page world. And then the other one is everything's moving, but it's, character driven and it's yeah. so um you know 
they think very differently than a graphic designer. So, yeah. um, yeah, that's that's probably where I would build first is be get the specialists. Mm. Um, yes, I would oversee where they're at, but um, yeah, having special more specialty um, artists available to me. It's good to see that you've got um, you've got a good, clear picture in your head about where where the future growth in your business would be, which is good. It's really good. Mm. Okay. Um, this is a really good one because because you've got that mentoring you've mentioned your mentoring what advice can you give to new businesses or even any business really with regards to the future yeah look i i wish someone had actually sort of said this to me initially when i started because i didn't really understand having worked in video production for such a long time i'd made video content for people um for facebook and for all the social media channels and for websites but when i had to step back and i had to do it for myself um for my business what i didn't realize is the value of what they actually offer um such as you know um making videos uh, where people are seeing your face and having that visual um, engagement with your customer, whether it is, hi, how are you today? Um, or whether it is, um, you know, I've got a new product, you want to check it out, those kind of things. Um, but I wish someone had sort of mentioned to me that it is a bit of a learning curve to get your head around all the social media platforms, um, especially when you don't, I, I never really had time to be on social media that much to make specific content. Um, so I wish someone had really talked to me about how much those tools are actually available to you and free, um, but also how valuable they are. Mm. I think with social media, any any anyone trying to get their head around social media would, would and and one or two sort of therefore offer it to as a as a service would almost have to focus on it 24 7 because there's so much of it and it's always changing so yeah. it's not something you can do like in five minutes it's and 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 you're right with regards to social um there's so much opportunity as you said for free that people can tap into you can almost you can almost start a business in five minutes by just creating a page and, and putting a couple of products up. I know it's not that easy, but it's much easier than it used to be with yeah. regards to starting a business because we've got so much so much free resources at our hands mm -hmm. um, at the click of a button. Um, it's a bit more complicated than that, of course, but you know, yeah. it's start to start. You, yeah. can, you can almost not... You could almost start a business without a web. Almost start a business without a website, but we won't yep. go down that that path. But it's you a know, whole what another gamut, about. right? And yeah. Instagram, you know, offers that with like the your apps you can attach to like Linktree and things like that. So there are so many things, but you need to take the time to be able to actually understand all of those things. So and I also think you have to not be not necessarily being a jack of all trades as well. I think you need to master master one or choose choose a couple and not trying to scatter yourself yep. too widely over everything you know what i mean because yep. you'll yep. do everything pretty mediocre then yeah so it's been it's been really i'd love to talk to you more and it's been really insightful because you're you're a natural and i'm not a natural in front of the camera but you come across as a very natural person passionate That's about lots and lots do. of experience of being on camera yeah. <laughs> and pa passionate about what you do yeah and passionate about helping other others which is which is great um and i'd love to love to thank you on behalf of everyone that might be viewing for for come, popping in and saying hello and um hopefully they can contact you if they need to ask any more questions yeah definitely um, and they just need to Google Yesterday Media or find it on Facebook. So, yeah, so thanks for dropping in, Alison. It's been wonderful okay. talking to you and hopefully this won't be the last, okay? Yes. Thank Love you. Love to speak to you.